Hello everyone and welcome to episode 18 of our top 5 PvP battles. If you guys want to send in your clips, you can send them in to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. So let's jump right into it. We have got Secret Self on the Stamina Templar and he's got a couple blues on top of him here. And uh, he put great burst into that first blue right off the bat. However, these guys have got some awesome healing power and they respond really well to Secret. So he's just going to have to get, there it is, that huge Dawn breaker combo with the power of the light into the jabs bringing one player down almost finishing off the second player there as a uh, couple more blues come on top of him here and secret's just going to go for a little bit of a kite make sure to keep his buffs up keep his heals up and he's going to dot up the next target that he can find gets a great dot set up into the jabs there he is a uh, blue player is very slow to break the stun however secret takes a stun from the enemy knife blade there so he's forced to reset again and he decides that he's going to go for this knife blade here goes for his ult Ultimate as well continues to pressure the Nightblade. Takes a nasty fear there. It's not going to stop him. The, the Meteor is coming in. Secret's fine. He's got his heals up. He's got CC immunity. No problem. And just keeps up the pressure on that Nightblade to bring him down. Wearing out quite a bit of his stamina bar there. But that's, I think, okay. Secret's just going to go for those heavy attacks, purge off the enemy attacks, and re-dot and set on the next target here. And there we see that empowering sweep, a huge part of why he's so bulky here. Empowering sweep, of course, going to give uh, the major protection buff, and uh, Secret just takes advantage of the defensive buff here to just go on the offensive, rejecting the res there, and then putting pressure into the lower health player here. There we go, the jabs and the power of the light bringing this guy down, the repentance to get his resource back, resetting his buffs here, and he's just going to re-dot on this guy here. Um, this guy, I think, is trying to get the res as well. He does not get his res and does not respond to Secret's burst, so he brings him down quickly. The other player, however, managed to res the other blue, and uh, I think Secret's just going to take his time here, re-dot on the blue, go for his heals, his defensive buffs, and uh, there we see the stun into the jabs, and the blood craze dot actually finishing off the opposing player there, and Secret's just going to turn really quick, bash this opposing player, preventing the res. The enemy warden goes into his permafrost ult. Secret just makes sure to set his defensive buffs. The uh, the warden is not doing a ton of damage to him, so Secret's just going to make sure to reset his buffs here and just wait out that ultimate, wait out the major protection from his opponent. Resetting the dots here, huge Dawnbreaker there into the jabs, the power of the light, and the blood craze dot to bring it home. Excellent fight, my man. Repping that Stamplar. And speaking of Stamplar, our next clip is Doyle Ricky on his Stamina Templar. And he's got a group of five AD that have kind of chased him out to the middle of nowhere here. And there we see a huge Dawnbreaker from Doyle Ricky. He's taken a lot of damage too. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's probably in medium armor here because he's taken huge amounts of damage. And he's going to have to do a lot of roll dodging. Gets a great stun off on that guy. Trying to finish him off with the Power of the Light, but just taking a lot of pressure from the opposing players at the top there. So uh, Doyle Ricky's forced to kite behind this tree here. A huge Dawnbreaker to put a lot of pressure into the group there, but Doyle Ricky does not commit to the offensive pressure after the jabs. He decides that he's going to kite back behind the tree, noting that he can take a huge amount of damage from these guys if he's not careful. Resets his buffs as he kites back up behind the hill here, gets good line of sight with the tree from the back end of the group, opens on the Sork with the dots, taking some bursts from the enemy Nightblade there, finishing off the Sork, a nasty burning light crit to bring that guy down. And now Doyle Ricky's going to have to make sure he does not get back up. Up. This guy's going for the res. Doyle Ricky actually dots him and then goes for the Dawnbreaker to prevent the res into the jabs. Huge amounts of damage on this guy. And there we see the damage over time tick. 3,400. Oh my gosh, this build hits hard bringing down that last player. And now Doyle Ricky is dealing with huge bursts from the incoming Nightblades. There we see some super nasty combos, but Doyle Ricky responding really well with his purge into his rally, getting great healing power. A massive Dawnbreaker splash, bringing down one of the Nightblades that's lower HP there, taking a huge burst himself, responding really well again with the purge into the rally, into the vigor. Now this part of the clip, uh, Doyle Ricky actually sped up himself, so I'm sorry that this is a little sped up, but he continues to fence these guys keeping the dots up on them he's getting good healing power from his blood craze as well making sure to rotate his heals and purge off those negative effects as soon as they come in and Doyle Ricky's just going to continue to fence these guys and there we see the enemy Nightblade opens out of stealth with the in cap Doyle Ricky responding with the javelin into the jabs big burning light on the jabs yet again bringing down that Nightblade and now he's got the last level 35 Nightblade here 
Hits him with the Dawnbreaker into the jabs, bringing this guy down. What an awesome fight. Great to see Stamflar yet again. And coming in at number three this week, we have got Tom on the Stamina Sorcerer. And uh, here you can see Tom and a friendly player are opening on the back of this AD group, putting massive amounts of damage. Oh my god, quickly bringing down three players, almost finishing off the fourth player there. And now Tom's just going to back out, reset the buffs here, reset uh, everything, the heals, and then go back in. Opens with the dots on this guy here. Holy man, so quick to kill that guy. There is the implosion to bring him down. Finishing off another player there. Finishing off yet another player. Friendly Siege coming down as well. And Tom is just taking advantage of the moment. Look at the bodies on the ground. Oh my gosh, another kill. Just so hectic. Look at Tom's resource. He's got nothing left in the tank because he's just killing everything here. The last guy standing on Siege doesn't even notice that his entire group has been wiped. And there we go. And that is not the end of the fight guys tom's actually going to bust in the keep and continue to bust some heads in here um and just a quick note that this clip is actually from the mid-year mayhem event so uh tom sent this to me a little late but it was a fantastic clip so i definitely wanted to feature it and here you can see a nightblade opens up on tom here and he responds great with his dawnbreaker dotting up the nightblade forcing the nightblade out of stealth with his hurricane and then getting him with the steel tornado bringing down that nightblade there and then tom's just going to work his way around the keep looking for an opening on this big yellow group here. There are a lot more yellow inside the keep. Finds this guy here, hits him with a great stun there, finishing him off right away with the Steel Tornado. Very squishy yellow player. And then Tom streaks inside here, goes for the Dawnbreaker into the Tornado, bringing down another player in the middle of the stack there. A Dragon Knight leap coming in, stunning him. He goes for a quick direction change, bolts uh, through the. Uh, through the corridor here and then he just has some time to reset his buffs and Tom's gonna open again on these guys here we go he opens up with the heavy attack gets the dots off the dual wield bar there dotting this guy up oh huge damage from the yellow players there Tom responds with his Sigic ultimate fantastic response into the double streak to get away from that I believe he's actually running bolt escape so he's got the reflect or the uh, projectile absorb up as well and he's just gonna reopen on the back of this yellow group as they bust the door down here quickly finishing off a player there and then he's gonna turn around and take down the guys on siege massive amount of damage taking a super nasty nasty shot I think from the siege there and uh, Tom's just gonna, gonna quickly turn on the guy on siege dot him up and bring him down as well and now Tom's gonna work his way into the keep we've got a lot of low health yellow that are struggling he hits him with a huge dawnbreaker into the tornado bringing down more players on the flag there oh my lord there's more tornado finishing off yet another player Tom's low on health here he just goes kites back behind the side here resets reheals opens up on this guy as he's running in and look at the lag spike oh my god here comes the zerg Tom's just gonna get the heck out of there so fast on this build look at how quick he's running Definitely going for a movement speed uh, spec on this thing. So much distance cleared there. And he gets up to the top of the tower. Takes a super nasty couple snipes there from some Nightblades. He's just going to sit behind this little uh, this little pillar here and wait for the Nightblades to come to him. They're a little hesitant, so Tom streaks out there. Massive Dawnbreaker Tornado. Finishing off the first Nightblade. Dotting up the second Nightblade into the Tornado. And that is that. Look at the havoc he was able to cause here. Fantastic fun fight my man all right so coming in at number four we have yet again some more stamplar love judas mcgavin coming in on his stamplar here bow 2h and uh he's got a lot of uh a lot of blues here so judas is just going to take his time poking at the side of the group he wants to just pull them apart and find a nice target here they're throwing a lot of curses down but judas is doing a great job not panicking just cycling his vigor Purging off the negative effects. There he sees his opening crit rush onto this guy here. Into the Dawnbreaker. The jabs. Oh my gosh. This guy goes for the heal. It is not enough. Judas brings him down. The repentance as he moves away. And uh, he's just going to continue to kite back here. But facing these, this group as he does it. Just continuing to uh, bounce the light attacks off them. And put some pressure in. And he just wants to attract these blues out of here. One blue player comes up. Throwing the fire staff knockback. Judas quickly breaks the stun goes into tries to go for the wrecking blow however he's not able to get it there's the wrecking blow there into the jabs quickly bringing down that player massive burst there and judas is just going to come right back over the hill 
He's not satisfied. He wants a little bit more to chew from this blue group there. An enemy snipe incoming, doing huge damage on Judas. Massive rally heal there, even with this snipe to get such a huge rally heal. And then uh, Judas is just going to come back behind the tree here, use his purge, use his vigor, and just try to pull these blue here. They are getting more and more aggressive. And here we see they're all starting to chase him off the side of the hill here. Judas doing a great job just opening with his combo on the first player here, trying to put some damage in. However, he takes a super nasty snipe gank and a lot of damage from the enemy players, so he's forced yet again to reset, and that Templar purge into the healing power. Absolutely fantastic. Here we see he catches the Nightblade, tries to get the Wrecking Blow, but is unfortunately unable to get it. Goes for the jabs, putting a lot of pressure into the Nightblade, but it's still not enough, and Judas himself taking a lot of damage here. I think he is yet again in the medium armor Stamplar, so he's going to have to be quick on his feet. The crit rush into the Dawnbreaker. Oh my god, so much damage damage bringing that guy down so quickly and now he's going to open on this templar here there we see the two wrecking blows the three wrecking blows bringing this guy down goes for the huge repentance there dots up this uh, dragon knight as he comes in the dk quickly chewed through like butter and now judas has got the last player just a uh, i think a templar here goes for the wrecking blow into the dawnbreaker huge damage on the enemy templar the enemy templar does heal it away but he waits a long time to purge and judas is able to just put huge amounts of damage with the additional damage over time and uh, the enemy templar eventually does not have the heal healing power to get through it. Judas bringing it home for the Templar. And finally, guys, we have got Pelican ESO coming in for his third time on the number one slot in our top five series. And this fight is just nuts. Every single time Pelican throws a clip in, I'm just blown away. So here we go. He picks off the first Dragon Knight there, quickly bringing a player down off their horse there. This enemy player is going for snipes. Pelican just, oh my god, just giving him the pressure right back. Puts huge damage into this guy, committing to the kill here. Yet again with the Fire Staff stun, pushing right into this blue group here and just going right through them. Goes for the Templar here, gets a fantastic burst off on him with the curse yet again finishing this guy off finishes off yet another player there does not even look for the kill confirmed doesn't need to he knows he's got that kill yet again another massive burst does not confirm the kill he doesn't need to he knows he has that kill and now he's gonna go for the pressure on this guy here gets him with the streak through the trees the curse into the execute massive burst as three more players jump on top of him here pelican pounding the shields oh my god taking so much damage from these guys dropping his atro to help him tank it out here putting huge pressure into them with the atro and just continuing to bulk it out there's the stun into the execute such a clean combo yet again nuking that guy and pelican right away shifting to the next target dotting him up with the burst there look at how he goes for the offensive combo in between his offensive combo he slots a different potion i don't even know what to say finishing that guy off with such a clean combo yet again this player comes in steel steel tornado pelican with the fire staff knockback into the atro drop I don't even know what to say. And there we see yet again massive burst. The DK responding really well with his wings, but Pelican going for that unreflectable damage with the curse there, waiting for the wings to come down. Fire Staff knocked back into the execute. So clean, so surreal, absolutely fantastic, my man. And for the bonus clip today, guys, we have got an absolutely insane six-man Zerg bomb brought to you by the Godfather Boy and his, uh, and his small man group. So I hope you guys enjoy this bomb. You guys need to check out these fine ESO channels. Links, of course, to every single featured channel is in the description below. If you guys want to send in your clips, send them to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. We also feature build videos, so if you guys want to send in a build, you can submit that as well. If you guys want to catch live gameplay from me, you can catch me on Twitch. A link to my Twitch, of course, is in the description as well. And finally, we are sponsored by What The Fast. They're a VPN for gamers, and they give me better ping to ESO. They're free to try for the first 14 days. No card to sign up, so you guys can give them a shot if you like. Thank you so much again, everyone, for sending the clips in. A fantastic week. If you guys like that video, hit that like button. Hit that sub button, and I hope to see you guys again in the future. Have a fantastic night, everyone.